Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 12 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Today we haven't got much going on for another two days until an event happens and we we'll get to view that. So let's try and clear up these maps that I wasn't able to, or flat out forgot to, finish properly before. This time I need to collect all the cap mining points and get all the map. There was a hidden room I didn't find the first time. Yes, Yikze. Shutsugeki. Otomodachi. Mamoru. This is going to be an easier map than that other map I'm going to be doing today. Cotton can handle this, but it's going to take a little while because his attack power isn't very high. And that guy's defense power is. Oh, a new item. I think I can use that in a crafting recipe. Time to switch into capture mode. Well, nuts. In my trial run, I got attack. But the speed is valuable, because Karen is slow as hell. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. Actually, I don't need to capture this. I have no use for it. So, die in vain. Red slime. And here. Remember we got that training done that added to a CP? Now I can put mining back on and find this mining point I missed before. Now, once we get over to that secret room, we're going to be done with this map. Did you know these bats are lightning elemental? That's the only reason they're useful to capture. And secret room, now I have a hundred percent. Seal this thing up, just for fun. I'm gonna go one more turn and grab that last gather point. All right, we're done here. Hey, we got a lot of dirt. We need more of that. Hmm. I'd like to point out here that these all have maximum numbers in the buildings. We can have up to three of these 
yellow seed trees. But once Fia gets her next goddess rank up, it'll go up to four. So it's good to check back on that kind of thing from time to time. Improved clay. Yes. And other stuff. Yeah, may as well. These are things I'm just going to make if I have tons of materials. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. Sugida. Hmm. I would have thought. Nope, we didn't capture enough bats. Must have been something I did after the second map. So let's hit that second map and finish it properly. Yes, Ixe. Shutsugeki. Otomodachi. Mamoru. Hmm. Now let's hit the heavy first time, and then finish it off the second time. Mm. But if I hit it uh, too heavy, it'll die and I won't capture it. So we'll just stick to the cow. And sometimes you will just hit, get a lucky hit. So that's good. Yeah, this should be safe. This guy's pretty tough, but we can take him. Well, I should be covered even if he does die. Ah, counterattack. Those guys. Okay, probably kill him. There we go. Let's see if I can score two hits, then I'll win. And I hit 90% of the time. I'm gonna do it. Check it out, real dupe. I'm taking a risk for your sake. Kicking. Okay, for the moment, let's actually put on the, the healing spell. May as well use it. I don't want to move from this point right now. I'll show you. You'll find out in a few turns why, but... I very much don't want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, capture him. I will make enough lightning elemental creatures to buff... to buff Karin's, uh... Lightning resistance a bit further out of the nether regions. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I forgot to do that. Jeez. Well, it'll take care of itself. Yeah, go ahead, take it. I don't care. Oh, who got too close? You got too close. Come on, we haven't got all day. Ha! There she is. And now you realize why I was sitting here for six turns waiting for her to show up. Now I want this to go well, so... I've already got Fia pre-buffed for it. Notice here, Karin's accuracy. It's not that he just never hits, it's that Eel's dodge is insanely high. But he's still our tank, so he can take this. He'll usually miss, but hey. Alright, I buffed Fia all the way up to the max, which includes substantial accuracy buffs, and it's still only 50%. Now, let me put her magic spell back on and see how it hits. Ouch. That's... Well, odds are good even if she does get a critical hit, she'll miss at least once. Hop. Ooh, yeah. That is a nice level up. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to have Connie try to hurt her anymore. Healing potions. If you try and do this, make sure you have a lot of healing potions because if Eo gets on the, with the bat dodging, you're going to burn through a lot of them trying to keep your tank alive, whether you're using Kaoden or Hap Auto for it. Yeah, still level 5. Oops. No, that's not what you're doing, I thought. Alright, 40% chance to hit, but if it hits, it's a capture. Wait, I don't need to capture her. I can't capture her. And what do we get out of it? A healing potion. A small one. Before I told you you could get a broken sword. Which was accurate. But she actually has three different drops. And the broken sword is... The Broken Sword is only one of them. It's Small Healing Potion, Large Healing Potion, and the Broken Bone Cutter. <laughs> yep, I'm tougher than you thought I was. I'm bar, aren't I? <laughs> the Half-Blood Elf isn't exactly the tough one. You'll notice that he was the one hiding in the back.
All right. She still thinks she can get this done, which is accurate enough. Well, if I was trying to talk her out of continuing this, basically. And he has, for his part, actually noticed that Io does not really want to kill him that bad. Before, she, he observed that she was an assassin who was doing it for hire, and this time, he's observed that she really doesn't want to kill him, personally, to the point that she doesn't want to kill any of Alfaro's companions. Right there. So it's not like she's some mindless killer or anything. And here's her excuse. First-rate assassins don't kill anybody but their target. Which sounds good. Avaro retorts, Yeah, do first-rate assassins flat-out fail? And calling back to the first time they met, Eva didn't want to kill her then either. Uh, enough with your excuses. You don't actually belong doing these back alley assassin things. Get a new job. Oh, now she's done listening. Ah, how unfortunate. Yeah, Avaro's kind of sad about this interchange, and uh, Fia calls him out on it, additionally making up some things he didn't actually say. Like the part about being Fia's invincible husband. No, the invincible Fia's husband. I didn't say that, especially that last part. So why is he doing so down about winning? Yeah, Avaro wants to help the girl out. Yeah, she said she'll be back, so I guess she'll be back eventually. Fia says that she was little and cute and she wants to see her again. Hopes she comes again. You didn't realize if she's coming, she's coming to kill me? Oh, we don't need to worry about that. Fia will protect Avaro with the power of her love. Ha. Uh, well, that's one of her good points. There's got to be a limit to the way she just hears whatever she wants to hear. Alright, now that that's done... Hey, Avaro's almost dead. Hmm, well... Let's get to work. Alright, you want to come up here and... Get yourself captured. These water spirits typically stay at a distance and stay at a distance and use their range attack. See if they can. Oh, if still got a couple of turns of superpower attacks coming to her. Ha ha ha, suckers. Oh. Well. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. Kodo Kaishida. I should go take care of that. Oh great, I get to show you this. Occasionally you will find rare drops coming from enemies. With the glowing yellow and the character who got it giving a special voice over for it. This is the Water Fairy's necklace. This is one of those hard to find items. For instance, you remember that water spirit with the fancy clothes we fought here before? If you killed him instead of just getting his health down low enough, he would drop one of these. So if you want more, you can come here and farm forever for him. Uh-oh. I heard one of those trees. And unlike the putties, the trees come after us. Hmm. Nope, I'm defending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You bastard, don't counter my attacks. I know I shouldn't have done that. Now Karin's a sitting duck, because I don't want to counter with this earth ball that knocks the hell out of these girls. Because I'm still out to capture them. Ha! Sucker. He needs a level up. Preferably one that gives her more attack power. Ah, oh, no. This message here says that I can't capture any more characters because my capturing capacity is full. Okay. Good thing you'll drop this healing potion. Guess what? It's clobbering time. Kodo Kaishida. Yeah. See, this is what happens if you leave putties alone for too long in these games. Uh, no, we're not capturing you. No more captures. Uh, more enemies. Hmm. Well, this might work out for the best after all. At this rate, Avaro is going to get a level up. Which he needs because he's still two levels behind everyone else. It's nice of these trees to fight like they mean it, though. The buddies just wander around, and if they happen to bump into you, then they fight, but the trees will actually come and get the matter over with right off.
制圧した。行動開始だ。もっと強くなる。ハバロ、you suck。All right, we're almost done here。制圧したよ。Once we've got that, we、we'll、go over there。We're gonna gather the plants because they're there and that's what we do. But once we've got them, we get to leave. That covers 100% control and defeat all the enemies. So this time I get all the objectives finished. <laughs> and now that it's day 21, we have a scene to view. Alright. The setting here is that we've been in the village doing tasks for them all day. <laughs> Fia's happy that they have this work, but Avaro is feeling a bit pushed by all of it. Well, you see, this is a lot of work for just the two of us. And they have to fix up the fortress. Pretty much all the time. And there's all kinds of room there now. If we keep getting so much work, then we're going to be overtaken by the tasks we have to do. Yep, that's the size of it, Fia. Well, look at this. Fia's got an idea. Why don't we post help, some help wanted posters around where the villagers can see it? Davaro thinks that's odd. Figured that Fia would be against adding more people to our party. Well, she does like how it's cozy with just the two of them. Leaving out for the moment, Karin. But, if we keep going like this, things will get too big for just Avaro to do all the crafting for. <laughs> Alright, Avaro's making good. I mean, Fia's making a good point. So Avaro asks her if she's got a fever or something. Because usually you're more of a spaz. Well, yeah, I think you're a spaz. Didn't I just say that? Alright, but interrupting this lovely conversation, we hear something. Gee, that voice sounds familiar. Not to these two, but to us, who have seen another cutscene with it. So she's asking for a job from some guy, apparently. We don't get to see the guy, but... He has a job, but it's only for an adult. So she needs to come back. And she says she is an adult, and they need to check out what she can do before. Oh yeah, she uses a poor choice of words, saying that they should look before they decide. Meaning, 
as he takes it, look at her and decide whether she's an adult or not. Yep, she's a kid. Okay, she admits that, you know, size-wise, she's not an adult. But she's an adult spiritually, I guess. Spiritually, huh? Well, anyway, what can you do? Well, she can use magic. He doesn't believe her and blows her off straight out. It's about time for her to finish up with her finding a job and just do odd jobs for people. It's the daily employment is the word is the word she used. And if she tries finding a regular job too much longer, she won't even be able to do that today. So she turns around, starts walking, and her tail swings back and forth. Did anybody think this was going to happen eventually? Yeah, they basically said this. You know, she didn't do this to that big guy at the entrance to the valley, and she didn't do this to the old lady in the valley, but the first cute one we see. In case you can't tell by the picture, she's grabbing her tail. You idiot! What the hell do you think you're doing? And now she's whispering how nice it feels to the girl. Jeez, how creepy can you get? Alright, that is totally rude. Let go and apologize. And Fia just does it. She says she just accidentally felt like touching it. <laughs> Alright, doing that is a bad thing. Don't do it. <laughs> but since we apologize, she'll forgive her. Because she's an adult and all. Fia says she's nice for forgiving her. So, can she do it again? Of course you can't. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Let's go, Fia. Okay, Fia now says that she wants to play with this girl some more. And hopefully have her to live with. Yeah, enough of your fluffiness fetish. Remember we need to go post help wanted posters? That was your idea? Oh wait, we just said something in front of her that she was making a scene about. Okay. All right. So she confirms what she thought she heard, and now she's going to ask us to employ her. All right, because you're cute. Okay, okay, enough of that for you. If we're going to employ her, we need to see what she's capable of. Well, this is good news because Mikeu here is a person of character. And even if you don't employ her, 
She won't go spreading around the fact that Fia molested her. Isn't she a nice girl? I wonder if she's a all right, she says, now she says she can use magic and ask proof she has a magic book. Well, if Aura accepts that, it's sufficient proof. Although I don't know what that means and if that's really how this, these things work. So, yeah. All right. She says that she's very talented and she'll be able to pull her weight. So, if I was willing to give her a chance, let's ask Pia too. She's cute. I want to take her home with me. All right. I'm sorry for asking. All right, here's the deal. We're going to set up a test for you. And she's very much excited for getting this test, even though she hasn't passed yet. Mikeu apparently lives around here and doesn't recognize them, so she doesn't know where their shop is and asks for directions. Over there, it's pretty big. <laughs> well, she's impressed. Alright, so the arrangement for this test. Alright, we've made arrangements for the test. Now we get to actually introduce each other. Avaro said who he was. Fia says she's Fia. And the goddess of connections. And this person is the, uh, the snow fairy Mikeyu. She's got a beauty that makes all the boys of the world kneel before her. All right. Don't try and one-up me. It, it kind of gets wearing on Navarro here. So, those are the arrangements. Fia thinks she, she was such a girl goal. Good girl, she just wants to eat her up. You say that like you mean it. She's kind of scary that way. All right, rank up. This would make an awesome level up. Well, probably I'll get more level ups like it. She is now the girl who got happiness for her apostle. And this skill is fatigue regeneration. It's pretty useless. All right, and the two come together wherever they hang out. Apparently some CD bar. Mikeo gets to report the job she found. All right, so in celebration of her getting a job, they're going to eat a bunch again. Have a little feast. Io has just realized that the reason they don't have any money is because any time anything good happens, Mikeu will treat them to a feast or go out shopping to celebrate. So she could actually use a bit of money management skill. And that'll clear up our events and our adventuring. But before we close up, let's make stuff. 
And I keep making wooden shields because it gets me earth. Earth shards for improvements. <clears throat> hmm. This will give me some other kind of shard. And that'll be valuable. Oh, lightning shards. Yeah, although I don't know how I'll be using that too much. I am obsessed with always having them. Mm. That extra water fairy necklace, I think I'll take apart for the ice shard. Mm. Now this necklace I made a couple of will increase magic defense and I could buff it up to three right here but I'm gonna save it hmm there's actually not much I can do I can dump all of these earth shards though yes well hell I can't just yes. leave it there yes now let's clean up Cutting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll save that one for last. Alright, that improves Karin's horrible lightning resistance a bit more. to need three of these. This. Alright, let's review what I can and can't do. I don't need these lightning types anymore. Damn it. Release with that button. By default, when you come into the screen, it's on lock. And once you've locked something, you can't get rid of it. Probably you can't use it to improve anybody either. So if we got like a four star character and we didn't want to use it in one star requirements, we could lock it and then it would be protected. Anyway, if I get a couple more goblinoids, I'll be able to use them again. And this is a beast type. And both of those I can use eventually. So that will that will cover everything that we're doing today. Nice. Now remember, I told you this thing would we would be able to build one more of these once Fia got her rank up. There it is. Now I just need to wait for a yellow seed. Yes, Sugida. And since I planted these yellow seed trees in a day or two, they're just all three of them I think will drop me a yellow seed and I can build another. So, I'll see you later, YouTube. <laughs>